So my high school classmate, Kristen Bond, has been requesting me to do champagne for a while now, and I kept telling her, you know what, I'll do champagne as soon as I have something to celebrate. It just so happens that my sister got married last weekend, which gives me plenty of reason to celebrate. So tonight, we're gonna test out champagne. So like some of these other things, I don't really know a lot about champagne. Andre, I don't, I don't know anything about it. I know that in college during New Year's Eve, this is the stuff we are drinking. So 10.5% alcohol, crisp with notes of apple and citrus. Sounds tasty. This is extra dry. I don't really know what that means. So I guess we're gonna find out. So like all my other experiments before, we're gonna take this champagne flute and we're gonna fill it up. I'm gonna chug it, wait 15 minutes, and then we're gonna see where I'm at all the way to 0.08. If you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe to my channel also, shout out in the comments any future experiments that you want me to do, along with any questions that you might have for my future guests. The wackier the questions, the better. So make sure you blast those out. All right, so let's get to popping bottles. Taco, there's... Dude, there's no one here, man. All right. Oh, Jesus. This stuff does not just... Okay, come on. Is this a joke? Is this is this real life? Why can't I get this off? Okay, there we go. Now we're cooking. That's just a mess. Is this not like a cork? What? I thought that was standard with champagne. I thought they were all corks that were like popping bubblies. Apparently not. What does this say? Twist to open. So here goes nothing. Oh, a little jumpy. Man, I got gold all over the place. Man, here we go. There I go dripping again. Let's give it a taste first. Ooh, it's not bad. Oh, that's a lot of bubbles. See you in 15. All right, it's been 15 minutes. Point zero zero. Oh boy. So one flute met zeros. I'm just hoping that I bought enough champagne. Well, go dripping again. All right, let's give it 15 minutes. So let's see where we're at. 0.015. On to the next. Oh shit. Whoops. Uh, a little slower this time. There's that infamous drip at the very end. The heck. I should also note that these flutes are six ounces. So I just finished number three. Let's give it 15 minutes. been 15 minutes so after three champagnes we're at a 0.03 so I guess we're gonna have to grab another I still have a little bit left in this one so this is number four it's so bubbly all right let's give it 15 minutes it's been 15 minutes let's check her out and see where we're at 0.048 I'm not really sure what I expected out of this one, but I feel like it's riding similarly close to the wine. I think I'm on the same trajectory as the wine. I guess we're just gonna have to keep moving along and find out. On to the next. Oh. They don't even give you five full flutes of these. They give you four and a half. I feel like that falls into the same conundrum with the hot dogs and the hot dog buns. Rascals. All right, let me just back that one up because I already know how that one ends. Oh, well, that one didn't even have a pop to it. I was waiting for the well, That's disappointing. Here we go. Let's do this. Let's give it 15 minutes. Let's see where we're at. 
So it's been 15 minutes. Let's see where we're at after five. 0.066. All right, all right, all right. So I'm gonna be honest, we started out pretty slow. And now we're at 0.066 after five. So I guess we should probably have another, right? You gotta be careful with these pours. All right, so I got some of the gold from the... I, mean, I don't want that. So that was number six. Let's give it 15. Ladies and gentlemen of the GED class of 1999, no matter what a stripper tells you, there's no sex in the champagne room. None. All right, so it has been 15 minutes. 0.077, oh man, six champagnes get you to 0.077. This is right in the ballpark of wine. I'm at a bottle and a half of champagne. It's gonna take that to hit 0.08, so I got one more in me. Here we go. Hey, no drip that time, how about that? So this is number seven, let's get weird. All right, 15 minutes. All right, so it has been 15 minutes. Seven, after after seven champagnes. Let's see where we're at. Oh, 0 0.08, seven. Seven champagnes hit 0 0.08. I don't know if I'm still going up. I don't know, but let's find out. Let's give it another 15 minutes. That way we can really judge this uh, science experiment. In 15, we're gonna breathalyze again, and we're gonna see where we're at to see if we're going down or if we're still climbing. So see you in 15. All right, so it's been another 15 minutes. Let's see where I'm at after I already hit 0 .08. 0 0.096, I kept going. Basically a bottle and a half of champagne. I should probably clarify my weight. So like I'm 215 and I'm at a 0 .096 after seven. There you have it folks. Champagne will get you drunk. If you're feeling froggy and drinking it out of a normal cup, you're probably pretty drunk by now. And it's a different kind of drunk, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty great. Like, that's not even, I'm not even gonna deny that. With all that said, that's the science for tonight. Until next time, cheers!